Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls. Cody here. Uh, let's continue our journey. And who are you? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms. Oh, that's cool. Former servant of the Divinity. Whatever that is, sure. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Yeah, not really. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Okay. I doubt we've much to gain. Blessing of... Uh, is this... Do I... I can't recall too many things, but right, I'm gonna do this. See if that changes her dialogue. I doubt we've much yeah, to gain. Yeah, no. So in a little bit, she'll, uh... She'll Welcome change her dialogue. Let's level no, up. No, Are we almost at 24? One more! Oh! Let's see if I can get the strength. Oh, please. Please, Ace, stop barking. His name isn't Ace anymore, but... Ah! Sell one of those. I'll sell two of these. I'll actually sell one. Because uh, I'm going to keep the Siege Brew. Next year, let's, let's do... Uh, let's use the Siege Brew. Uh, there we go. Now I have the proper stats to use the weapon I want in a little bit. Yay! So, we're going to use uh, Snuggly the Crow again. And I don't understand this. Like, if I go to the Fire Link, why does this area have to load? This actually makes absolute nonsense to me. This doesn't make sense why I can't just instantly go through here. I have a so This game is all my solid state hard drive. I don't get it. I don't. There we go. And now, hopefully, I don't fail this miserably. God damn it. Don't do this to me, game. I made a fool of myself in the first step. Hey! I made a fool of myself in the first episode. Alright. Let's see over here. I'm gonna take that Sieg Brew. Actually, if you leave a black fire bomb, you get a Titanite chunk. That is super useful. Super duper useful. Super duper useful. Do I get anything for leaving this? Oh god! I, this has to be a, a bug. This has to be a bug because it won't let me leave if it's equipped. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do I have to equip that? Yeah. So, uh, I actually didn't know you got that for that. Uh, Equip the alluring skulls again. Oh yeah, we came here to drop the seed brew. We get the best goddamn armor in the game. Actually, uh, do I? I want to equip the iron bracelet still. I don't care if it makes me not roll as fast. So that item we just got hello. just says hello. That, that's all it's used for. And let's see, uh. If I leave an ember. I'm actually just testing this. Uh, so he won't take that. What about this? So it's only certain items. Uh. This? No. Oh, actually. I just saw that we have the pale tongue in our inventory. And that actually will help us out with this guy over here. I think. I think. Well, I'm Leonard. The re remember me? Yeah. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red-eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the dark wraith survivor of the lamb swallowed by dark. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. Alright. So as long as you have a pale eye. tongue, you can just do whatever you want. Like, well, as long as you have a pale tongue, you can't do whatever you want. What was that sentence? God damn it. Uh, let's see. Nope. You can uh, get that key. And that key will, if you go to the tower on the high wall, and in that building with that bonfire you head to the very bottom and there's that one room that you couldn't unlock with the cell key you go in there ride that to the bottom and kill the dark wraith and you get the uh you get the um 
a perfect red eye orb or not perfect it's just called a red eye orb and you can evade people forever cracked eye red or the cracked red eye orbs they go away after one use so that's pvp right there and now that we're on our our blah, 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 now that we're back to the road of sacrifice let's continue with our journey so that move is the move you want to avoid the one that i just got hit by my god i i highly recommend running through this area there's really nothing of use uh, uh, well, there's really no nothing of uh, use to s slowly take your time uh, down here. I think there's another Tech Knight Shard right Oh! Run around these guys. Another Tech Knight Shard. Over here. What is this? Probably a shield. Yeah, twin great shield. Kill this dog. Just kill it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't want to take them both on. I don't want to take them both on. I'm going to just light this bonfire. And if it gives me the option to sit, I'm going to... Oh, I can't light it until this asshole's dead. Accidentally kicked him. There we go. And now this is already at a halfway bonfire. And... Let's see. See that item right there? You're going to want that. But that crab will fuck you up. So let's see. But that crab you can also kill very easily. But we're gonna run over here. Really? He's not doing shit? We just got the grass crash shield. This is one of the best shields in the whole game. Same weight as our last shield. Uh, just get a, actually more stability. But what it does is it actually increases your stamina bar to regen faster along with your cloanthy ring. So that is a very useful item. Now let's try and kill this asshole. So that move he just did, it's actually the move you want to get. If you can get under him... Yeah, if you can hit his soft spot... It allows you to stagger him. And really, why is... Okay. There we go. I'm actually shocked I didn't get this one. So, he can actually go underground at half health. So, I'm risking it for the biscuit. Hey! There's a bunch of giant crabs in this area. And they all drop something. I think. No. So it's that crab over there that dropped something. God damn it. Alright, alright, I'll take care of this. Holy oh, shit! That was quick. Okay, we got it. Alright, we can stop using that ball. Alright, we got it. Oh! Or he's just gonna kill me. Like that. Basically, when he raises his two uh, claws, you can hit that soft spot and it'll allow you to repose him. And Like I did earlier, but you know what? I, I don't really need to kill those crabs. What I want to do, though, is run across this. So, this is where the game can actually split into two paths. Uh, you can head to the left, and that is the way we're going to take first. Or you can head to the right and take on the boss to the right. There's two separate bosses in each direction. If you go to the right and you fight the boss to the right, you must use all of Yol's level ups. You must. Or else, once you kill him, once you kill this boss, Yol goes away forever. Come on. Nope. Not today, asshole. And yeah, you can't, the crabs can't come on land. So, these two guys that are going to be coming out, they're actually a pain in the ass to kill. They do very, very strong damage. So we're just going to cheese them. There you go. Bye-bye. They both just fell to their deaths. And actually, remember how I was talking about that one club? The large club? Yeah, here's the better version of it, the Great Club. But the weapon that we want is the Exile's Greatsword. And this is the weapon I've been looking for this whole time. This is the weapon I am going to use for the rest of the playthrough. It's one of the best curved greatswords. I think it's a curved greatsword in the whole game. And with that, we're going to go to the Firelink Shrine. And we are going to upgrade this bad boy to the extreme. It is going to be so strong. 
And actually, oh, uh, she's gone. Ah, uh, huh. That girl thought she would uh stayed a little long. So now there's two guys. They'll never actually come back. So that's good for us. Uh, we're gonna infuse this with the sharp gem. What the hell is it? There it is. So this weapon has better uh, deck scaling, which is strange because it requires more strength to use it, but it has better deck scaling in the long run. Um, there's another gem later. I think it's called... Oh, God. I can't recall what it's called. Um, refined. I'm retarded. There it is. And it makes the scaling both C and C, but when you upgrade it all the way, I think the scaling goes B and B. Uh... And while this, I think, if you upgrade the weapon all the way to plus 10 with the heavy gem, you only get, like, a, a B scaling in strength. While this, you get an A scaling in dex. So, we're going to upgrade this to the with the sharp gem. Now, how many souls? Oh, I don't have that many souls. So, I'm going to have to sell Indeed. some items. Did not realize it. Oh. Now, we're going to have a problem. So, now I'm fat rolling. Huh. I may no longer be allowed to praise the sun. Let's see, 6, 4.2, hmm, this ain't good, I, I, I know what I can do in a second, but yeah, darn, I'm gonna have to fat roll for a little bit, uh, let's sell, hmm, let's sell some items. Is anything okay? Ethereal straight sword. I don't need this. Don't need that. I'll hold on to those rings just in case. Oh, I can sell these. Hopefully, this is enough to upgrade it. What? Darn. That actually requires a lot of souls. Hmm. So, let's see. What's stronger, the raw or this? Okay, this. Ah, oh, crap. This is not good. Okay, I'll take off the brigands. Hmm. Fat rolling is not good at all. I'll go with the cleric. That. Still gonna be fat rolling, aren't I? Oh no, okay. So I'll wear this just for now. Um, it's kind of useless, but eh. Uh, let's use an ember. Why not? So we're gonna go back to the crucifixion woods. Um, we'll we're gonna handle this the way uh, the game should be played, like the order. We do stuff in. So let's see. Now the reason why I'm going to head back out into this water is because the reason why I embered up is we can actually get invaded. Please don't hit me, crab. We get invaded in this area. Should be up here. Fucking over here. There we go. Invaded by Dark Spirit, Yellow Finger, Eyes. Wherever he is. So the weapon art of this is, uh, I don't like it. That's all I gotta say. Where's this guy? Where's this invader? I'm waiting. Sir? Oh, there you are. Oh, he goes invisible. So he's using a Heisel. Oh, a crossbow and the Heisel's tip. So as you see, this weapon actually swings pretty slow, but... It's like a fucking truck. Oh, god damn it. You can do that too, eh? Alright, I'm gonna wait. Ow, ow. I wonder, does this work? Yes, it does. That's pretty cool. So I'm a backstab. Hey, come on, Snickers. Don't bark, please. Alright, so this doesn't work. 
All right, so he's out of Estus. That's good. It hits like a truck sometimes, though. Really, is that crab really gonna interfere? So I just weapon art of there because I guess I can combo into that. So he can link two of those together. Alright. No! 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 So close! Oh, I should have backed off. I got greedy. Oh my god, I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub lord. I'm a scrub lord. I could probably parry the shit out of him. So I'm gonna do that. So the small leather shield, it actually gives you increased parry frames. Or, uh, more parry frames extended. It's one of three shields that do that. Uh, if you started with the assassin, you get a, a buckler that also does that. Man, I can't believe I just died there. That's, that's pathetic. He's not even like one of the harder NPCs that invades. That's just sad. I probably could have blocked those magic things. The Grass Crash Shield actually has really high um, magic resistance. Come on, where are you, dude? Back into this arena. Oh, there you are, buddy. So, as you can see, invaders don't really... I wonder. He can hit me, but I can't hit him. Bullshit. I actually want. There we go. That should hurt a lot. No, I didn't mean to. I, I thought I was two handing. Come on, do it again. Seriously, you're just gonna do that? There we go. God, like, see how long, like, those parry frames were? That just didn't. He's dead. There's no way he's living. Alright! That was. That was. Kind of sad that it took that long. Oh god, I'm ashamed it took that long to kill him. Let's see, let's go over here, pick up some items. And we can't get up there yet. Alright. So, let's see. I'll, I'll make this video a little longer. We didn't accomplish too much. I'll probably have to speed things up, up a little bit. I don't even need to be killing these guys. Why am I? I'll quit my grass crush shield again. Some green blossoms. There's also stack with uh, your Chlorinthy ring and um, grass crush shield. And we want to head back up to the bonfire. Direct. Oh, I got invaded! <sighs> this sucks. This really sucks. This is the worst part about this area. You can be invaded by the Watchdogs of Farron, which are another covenant, which will happen. Nope, we'll go over them in a bit. So now I gotta worry about this guy that just invaded us. And every goddamn NPC in this area. So I'm not gonna use the grass crest shield against this guy. Wherever he is. Now I gotta wait. I'll probably end the video after this poor invasion. 
Alright guys, so that guy did not show up whatsoever, so I had to jump off and kill myself so I could continue on with our goddamn journey. Because I wanted to end it with either A, that fight, or B, right before that fight, but I got invaded. And I waited for six minutes for him, and I looked around for him. He wasn't looking for me, I wasn't looking for him, so I'll see you guys on the next episode, alright?